How's it going guys, Otisave here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to improve performance in Roblox. So anyways, to get better FPS, to reduce lag, we're going to be taking a look at it in this video. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your Roblox settings, that's easy, by going to a Roblox game, for example this is Bad Business, and pressing Escape or pressing the Roblox icon up in the top left then going to the settings on the top menu navigation and then there should be a graphics mode you can be set to automatic by default click this to turn it to manual and change the graphics quality to one or whatever you you want yours to be set at personally i like 10 but if you're really struggling to run roblox change this to one now many of the more popular games on roblox have uh, in-game settings to lower some of the graphics in the game so you could get higher performance so we're going to take a look at this in bad business specifically so you're going to go down to the settings cog on the right click it right here and then there's quite a few options i'll just like show you for example there is like these things like we have a setting to disable the map textures uh we can disable the ragdolling we can like turn off blood, bullet impacts, and a, quite a few things. And yeah, that'll definitely help to improve FPS. There's probably even more options in other games, but yeah, that'll be up to you guys to find out what settings there are in whatever games that you play individually. And yeah, now moving on to more broad settings. For the next setting, this applies to Windows specifically. So you're gonna wanna go into your window settings, go to system, and then scroll down under your display settings and then go to graphic settings and this is where we can set specific apps to uh like be high performance so we're going to look for a desktop app and we're going to find the exe of roblox i'll show you how to get to that so most people are going to have it installed under their c drive called local disk you're going to want to go to your users and then select yourself so i'm ultra Sive on my pc like my name and then we're going to want to go down to app data let's find this then go to roaming and we'll want to go to the roblox folder i have quite a few down here but it shouldn't be too hard sucks my cat just sat on my keyboard <laughs> oh no i'll get back to it all right so now we're going to go to the local folder and find the roblox folder under the local folder it's right here then we're going to go to the versions and we're going to select the newest version so for me, that would be the one modified on April 5th or May 5th, something like that. And then we're going to find the Roblox player launcher. And then we're going to select this and click add. And then we're going to click on the options down here and put it on high performance. And then it'll select my GPU. And so it, uh, Roblox will now, Windows will give Roblox a, like a higher power allowance for whenever you're playing. So now we're gonna go back to the basic settings page and type power options. And that's like the easiest place to find it. And then go to additional power settings and then find the one that says high performance. And it should be the second one up here. And then that's what we wanna select. This will give your PC in general, like a higher power allowance. So it's not gonna be in power savings. Like if you're on a laptop, you're gonna run out of battery quicker. If you're on a desktop, you're gonna be using uh, more watts from their wall and yeah so if you don't want to do that you can still stay on like balanced or power saver but uh, I would prefer high performance since I use my PC for a lot of intensive tasks that that would benefit me so now we're going back to the window settings page once again and you're gonna type appearance and then go down to this last option called adjust the appearance and performance of windows once we have that selected just go for adjust for best performance and that'll uh, give us overall best performance, best FPS. And yeah, we'll just make sure it doesn't select adjust for best per, uh, appearance. And then click apply down on the bottom right and we should be good to go. All right, so the next step, uh, this is kind of a broad overall step, but go into your task manager. And when I pull this up, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't have any extra tasks running on your CPU or your GPU. You can go through your CPU and you can organize that here. You can see I don't really have anything that's using up an absurd amount on my CPU, so I'm good. But if you did, say, for example, like this application was using up 50% of my CPU or even more, then I would definitely want to close that or like save what you're doing and exit out of it. 
so that you could run Roblox without um, like it being trying to compete for resources with other stuff on your computer. The next step would be to uh, run an antivirus. So if you go down here into your uh, little task panel, then we can go into our Windows security panel and then go to your virus and threat protection settings and go over here. And then we're gonna, gonna click on scan options and then go to full scan. And this will take quite a bit, but it'll see if there's any viruses on your computer. Because the virus could be using uh, quite a bit of your computer's resources in the background and you don't want that. So we definitely wanna get rid of those or we can just do a quick scan if we know we don't have any viruses just to be uh, safe. So the next step is in Roblox Studio. So navigate to where Roblox Studio is. You can either type it in and search. I have a shortcut on my desktop. I think Roblox automatically does that when you install it. And then we're gonna to wanna to go up to File and Studio Settings. And then from here, we're gonna to wanna to navigate to Rendering. So you can change the quality level and the edit quality level to one. If you want, it'll both that will both improve your performance and the actual Roblox game. I think I have like 16 or 21 just because I have a nice PC. So when I'm in Roblox Studio, I really like to be able to like see the fancier graphics. But for you guys going onto one, if you have a lower end uh, hard drive and keep this on graphics mode, you can change it to automatic. But you, if you have like a, uh, for example, like an Nvidia card, you can change it to direct. Direct 3D 11, and if you have an AMD, you can change it to OpenGL. And sometimes Vulkan works better. You can play around with this, but leave it on automatic if you don't really know what you're doing. And for your physics settings, you're gonna wanna check allow sleep. So this will allow for if you're not looking at an object, it won't render it in. And we're done with all these settings. So we can close out of this and um, we'll just like exit out of Roblox Studio altogether. So the next step would be to defragment your hard drive. If you have a hard drive, you can defragment it. If you have an SSD, it is not really recommended to defragment it. So just go over here and type in defrag, and then you can it'll pop up with defragment and optimize drives. So it'll see, you can see a uh, solid state drive is what I have, and that's what Roblox is installed on. I don't necessarily need to do anything since it's a solid state drive, but if it says hard disk drive like this one, you can click on analyze and after that's finished, you can click on optimize and wait till it's done and then you can close it. The next step is an even broader one. So uh, this and has to do with your actual physical computer. So if you've had it running for quite a while, like more than a month, uh, you probably have an accumulation of dust in it. So you may wanna take it apart and clean out some of the dust with like paper towel or uh, air, a can of air and blow it out but it just depends on like how bad it is. If it's super bad, you've had a computer running for multiple years, you may need to take a vacuum to it, but it all depends. I typically do like uh, maintenance on my computer about every month to make sure it's like dust free and everything's working properly, but it all depends on like uh, what you guys are doing. All right, so this involves some of the Windows game settings. So if you go into your Windows settings and then gaming, we have the uh, Windows Game Mode. So you're gonna wanna turn on Windows Game Mode, but for the Game Bar, you're gonna wanna turn it off. Because the way Windows Game Bar is more for like recording and stuff, and it'll impact your performance while not giving you any gains in game. And then Game Mode is kind of optimizes your Windows for gaming. A little easy step for uh, getting more FPS is that Chrome takes up some of the resources on your PC. So if you don't have much RAM or you don't have much CPU power left after opening Roblox, something you can do to free it up is closing down your browser completely after starting your game. So you can just close it down and then continue on your game from there. If you're still not getting the FPS you want, you can upgrade your CPU or GPU. You can use Task Manager to figure that out. So when you're playing Roblox, you can figure out your bottleneck by seeing if your RAM here, I'll show you guys. So go into task manager, go into your performance settings, and then you have on your CPU, it'll show you like, see, I'm only using 6% of this, but if it said like 90 to hundred percent, that'd be bad. Or uh, if it said that on any of these, so the highest one is usually your bottleneck and that'll be something you can upgrade. Um, you still have to be familiar with how to build PCs, 
but yeah make sure that you don't have a, a super like bottleneck that's keeping you down so say you have a decent gpu like a gtx 1060 for example that's really really good gpu for roblox but you had a really old cpu like a pentium g4560 that would probably be bottlenecking you in roblox so it'll be holding your fps back so yeah you can try upgrading that to a newer cpu and now after you've done all these settings, how you get even more than 60 FPS in Roblox is you'd have to use a uh, Roblox FPS unlocker. So how you find that is you type in RBX FPS unlocker in your browser and you'll find this GitHub repository. And I'll have a link to this in the description, but basically you'll want to find the newest version. For me, it's 4.3 and download it. I'm just gonna download it for, to my desktop and then after it's on your desktop, I'll just show you here because I already have it. You're gonna want to uh, extract the files. So if you have, you can use WinRAR, 7-Zip, Thursday been the default Windows one, but you're just going to want to extract the files somewhere onto your desktop. So I can click extract here and then I'll find it. It'll be right over here. And then you can just click it and it's already running and you have your Roblox uh, FPS unlocker down here and you can right click it and change like your FPS cap. I have it set to 240. I just like 240 for me since I have a 240 hertz monitor and it's perfect. I usually don't get 240 FPS in Roblox games, especially the more intensive ones, but the lighter ones, it can go up to, to like 500 FPS if I don't have a Roblox FPS cap on. But yeah, so typically you get around 120 um, just for like your Phantom Forces game or something. It's because Roblox physics can't really run faster than that. It's really hard to optimize their engine for that. But yeah, 120 is definitely really great. It feels really smooth on Roblox. And it'll even feel even smoother, even if you have a 60 hertz monitor, due to the, due to the fact that uh, your frame spacing will be better because it'll be closer to uh, the actual frame per your monitor refresh rate. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. I'm out. Pasadios, my dudes.